I crafted this blacksmithing guillotine, or as you might call it, a smithing magician, in my previous video. However, I didn't test it, because I lacked proper tools. It's time to change that. I plan to make tools for flattening, isolating, fullering, and finally cutting. My material choice is a bit unusual, but I got this huge ball bearing for 2 bucks. It's not the best steel for the job. It's abrasive resistant, but not very heat resistant. Still, uh, it was only 2 bucks. I'm starting by cutting the ball bearing into sections. One down and many more to go. Now I need to remove the raised edges. This is quite a painful experience. The steel's abrasion resistance is really kicking in. I've already used up all these cutting discs. It's time to bring in the heavyweight. I really wanted to avoid plasma cutting, because it's messy, but it's so much faster, albeit with some extra grinding. The aftermath is messy. At this point I need to straighten all the pieces. The best way to do it is by forging. Fair enough. I don't want to mesh in hard steel, so I heated it up and buried it in vermiculite. Vermiculite ensures slow cooling, resulting in softer steel. Believe it or not, it's still warm, even after 18 hours in vermiculite. Now that the banana shape is gone, I can move to machining, but before I do that, I need to remove the scales first. They are quite tough and would quickly dull my tools. Those are some rough shapes, so the first step in machining is to square all the pieces to fit the slot in the guillotine.
Look at that huge pile of chips, so much still removed. Before I go any further, I need to clean the machine first. This is just a very fine cut to uniform the width of all pieces. It's a mesmerizing surface finish. Blanks are ready for profiling. Not too much work with the second one. I'm not going to use a special cutter for angles, so I need to scribe some lines first. I'm using a special half round cutter for flooring too. I'm done with machining. I also made this little cutting table of camera. The next step is quenching to harden up the steel. I'm using preheated canola oil for quenching. It might seem like I'm requenching the same piece all over again, but I can assure you I'm not. Right from the tempering oven, I clean it all pieces with a wire brush wheel, sharpened the cutter and knocked down the edges where a hammer struck the tool. Time to assemble the cutting table. Adding the spigot to anchor the guillotine in the hardy hole. Here I'm dry testing all the dies to see if they move smoothly in the slots. And all the pieces seem to work fine, which means only one thing, it's testing time. The first in line are the isolating dies. It looks nice. Now that I have isolated the material, I can try to flatten the isolated area. The result looks decent, but could be better though. Now the cutter. Like a knife through butter. Let's see if I can offset just one side. Oh, 
Not bad. Okay, let's try some fullering. I plan to make some additional fullering dice with different radiuses. So this is more of testing the concept. And I like the result. The final test, making a square turn on. I already know that the flat dice need a little upgrade. I kept the working planes too sharp. I need to round them a little bit for next time. Not bad. That's it for today, thank you for watching and as always, till next time.